Hello everybody and welcome back to Awkwardism Gaming on Friday with The Wolf Among Us by the Tall Terror series. Yes! Okay, so we unlocked a new fable. Let's see who it is. We unlocked quite a bit of them. Who is this? Bluebeard, wealthy scoundrel. His rich is intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions. He often uses this influence for his own benefit as a former serial killer. He claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. But even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down to Crooked Lane. Beauty and her husband Beast once lived in an enchanted castle. But they were forced to flee the homelands in the ex exodus, leaving all of their wealth behind. Now they live in a mo modest studio in a favor town, New York. Though times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Okay. All right. Let's continue. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. A little bit. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep thawing. Really? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this. Let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Is it Faith? Oh, is that what the girl's name was? Can't remember. Big B. Snow. Come with me. Snow White. Snow. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Hmm. Hmm. The security guard's the worst. God, what's it gonna be? They wouldn't just cover up some anything. It has to be something gruesome. No! It's the girl we saved. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Faith Town. A working girl. 
A working girl? I don't... I mean, I'm a working... Oh. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... Who found her? So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start Kinda mad that she's dead. what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. All right. First things first. We gotta examine the body. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Strange God. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. What is... This is a piece of paper. That got to be, that got to suck so bad to know someone and then, like, to meet someone and then instantly they're dead. They don't, they just don't exist no more. I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Let's see. So there was a blood splatter. Nobody there. Wasn't there like a blood splatter? Here we go. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. What is this? No signs that it's been here. So let's see, we got a blood trail that way, so they came from that way, or they left that way. Anything over here? I don't think she did it.
because she seemed genuinely worried. Hey, it's not. You all right? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Where are you going? Are we done? I've seen enough. I've seen enough. But... Okay. We should... move her. Before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? I found a trail of blood. I saw it, but... What is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. I guess it's murder. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Ichabod. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting. Ichabod mayor. Crane. He needs to know, and he's going to find out anyway. So we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully, he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Mm-hmm. No, these fables. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. You are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? That, that, that's kind of true. Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. 
We'll get on it right away. Let him have it. You're an asshole. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh, that's the monkey from Wizard of Oz? Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Is that Aladdin's lap? Hi. Lamp? This place has so well, much. Yes. It should be squared away. Alright, let's. Yep. Guess through the mirror. No, I can wait. Magic mirror. <gasps> hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history of rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Woodsman, Buffkin, I don't know her name. Buffkin! Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking! Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit, which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about something. All right, else. I think I'm going to check out the new Fable entries I got. This is actually very interesting. Oh, you got the books. So that's the monkey that helped the well, wizard I'm when he sure first we'll entered Oz and became, okay. you know, Thank Oz you. the Great and Powerful. Alright, before we get into more lore, let's check out... Wow, so many. Okay. See, Snow White may seem cold, but this stems from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. It wasn't long before 
Snow discovered that Charmin cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red. She divorced him after the exodus. Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for Fables in the New World. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. Okay. Let's see about Colin. He's better known as one of the three little pigs. Back in the homeland, they were harassed by Big Bad Wolf, who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other Fables, who couldn't pass for humans, were sent to live at the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fable Town to bother Bigsby. He is always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Ichabod Crane Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been deputy mayor of Fable Town for nearly 115 years. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fable Town's elite, Crane is often blind to the troubles of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is... Oh. Yep. That's him. The monkey. Buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the land of Oz. I knew it. Now, as Fable Town's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful for when, it, when he wants to be, but most of the time, he'd rather be drinking someone who would have fired him long ago, but he's the only one who can make sense of the filing system. And we got one left. Mondays. Short for mundanes, Mondays is a catch-all term that Fables used to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warding spells placed around the blocks of Favor Town and the farm keep their minds distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should. Ah, oh, these magical can would overload and fail. As Sheriff of Favor Town, one of Bigsby's primary functions is ensuring the Favor Town community maintains a low profile. Interesting. Okay. Now I'm ready. Let's continue with this. Let's find a name. Sign from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alair Lai Rao? I'll go look it up. Allenlyro. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. Also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Wow. I don't remember that one. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. I 
And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than we... Name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. It's only the right thing to do. Let's see what's in this book. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. We already know her name, but feel free to have a look if you like. Colin and his brothers. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. <coughs> Good day. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Ichabod Crane. <laughs> Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Nice hat. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy. Wish Toad would like his bit. Oh, so that's what fable he's from. Okay. Yeah, that's her, all right. Long time ago. I guess that's everyone. So back to the mirror now that we know her name. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me, show me faith. <clears throat> Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, baby. It's simply the way this has to be. Show me Faith's father, the old king. I guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Prince Lawrence. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Nobody right now. Anything he looked we can dead. Use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Ugh. Sorry, we have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I. He is. Hold on, Bigby. It's for you. Bigby, it's me, Tom. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, well, hang on. Oi, shit. Hey! 
What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Vince? You think he did it? We gotta go to Lawrence. We need to tell him about his wife. Alright. He well, I'm gonna end this episode here, and I'll see you guys next Friday with more The Wolf Among Us.